Today at Thunder Acres, our brand new SIG Air MCX Virtus PCP pellet air rifle has arrived. I'm Thunder, you're watching Thunder Acres, and we're gonna do the unboxing of the SIG Air PCP .22 pellet gun. Just a few things here now. It's 22 caliber. It's a semi-automatic. It's got uh, 700 feet per second pellets. That's pretty darn. That's pretty darn fast. This thing is is actually for small game. Uh, you are able to hunt small game. Let's get her opened up. So we will show you the assembly and the firing of this bad boy. One thing here that's pretty amazing, it relies on, it, it operates on 3,000 PSI. That is a lot of pressure. So, you simply take the cover off, take your gun, thread it into this back side. I got it pre-charged, there's a gauge on there. Uh, get your, uh, we had it pumped up at Shields, but any paint gun store, get it pumped up to 3,000 pounds. You will feel it hit the stem of, uh, to open the air. You want to go past that until it bottoms out, and then you just want to go snug past that. So we are set with that. And then, you take your gun butt, you put it on here. Now right here, there's a hidden set of tools. You take that out. It's got four tools on it. The first one being to lock in the Allen for the butt, the butt of the gun. Okay, that is locked in. The rest of the tools, as long as we got it out, I will show you here. It's got a lot of extra pieces on the gun that make it look like a real AR. Like this here stuff, all fake, don't get, uh, here, here is the button for the mag. Clicks in, hit the button. Here is the safety. There's a safety on both sides. You can see the F and the R on this side. The other side of the gun, you'll actually see the red dot for firing. Safety, fire. There again, a lot of stuff that makes it look like a real AR. And just check this piece out. I mean, this thing looks pretty badass. So, let's get along to the scope. The scope, or I shouldn't say the scope, this, uh, your sights, front and rear sights. Uh, you take this here wrench, like I said, and you can see there's a lock in there, a peg. Make sure you go to that peg, and then you can push down that peg, and you can turn it. Just push down the peg, turn it, front scope up and down when you're sighting it in. The rear is cool. You got a little circle and a big circle. Now, that one is adjusted uh, left and right. Now you take this here, the third part of this tool, and you put it in there, and you can adjust left to right, scope, or not, sorry, scope, the sight, rear sight, to dial this gun in. So, that is the gun in a nutshell. Now, the last part of the tool, this one for the sights adjust, this one uh, uh, rear sight, and this one the Allen. And it all hides in this, the end, and remember the slot goes rearward, nice like that. But we got one more thing to do with this fancy tool, and that is to load the pellets in the mag. So, we simply hit the button, pull the mag out. Open the mag up. Just right here. Pull the belt out. This is very cool. You put the silver side down. We went with the Daisy .22s. So, what we're gonna do now is load 
it holds uh, 30 pellets. So it's 30 rounds. So take the pellet, pointy side down, then you take your tool, you simply push it down. So you gotta do this 30 times, but it's very easy. Push it down till it hits the table. So you want it flush with the other side. So, very handy tool. So we're just gonna load that up and put it back. Okay, as you can see, our belt, we got all the pellets in there, flush with the one side. Okay, you can see there is teeth on this belt. You take the teeth up and put it back into the mag. Very easy to do. This thing is simple, but there's some technology went into this here. So you just simply load it back up. We put 30 in there everyone simple as that close the door take your full mag your gun till it snaps into place you put your tool back you don't want to leave this fancy tool and get lost remember there's a slot on one end that goes to the rear side and believe it or not this gun is ready to fire. Let's go get it outside and get it sighted in. Okay, we got our rifle all assembled. It's time to do some shooting. So, we bought a few cans of pop out, Dr. Thunder, of course, bottle, paint can, ether can, a Coolman propane tank, and we're gonna see once, I know they say like 2,000 feet per second for a Tannerite. We're just gonna fire a pellet at it, see if we get anything. Might put a flare behind our ether and our paint can. So, here we go. <clears throat> okay, I did sight it in. Like I told you before, this bottom tool, you can adjust left and right on the rear sight and up and down the front. I think I got it pretty dialed in, so let's give it a try. We're gonna go to fire. Let's go check out the damage. All right, we got a fresh mag. Now for the fun stuff. Yeah, baby. As you saw, we hit Dr. Thunder, went right through both sides of the can. We blew up the, bottle, the glass bottle. We hit the paint can, did not go through the paint can, blew up the paint can. We dented the Coleman, but yeah, the paint can blew up and actually started the tannerite. You can see here, here two explosions. and. We tried the Tannerite, we put a hole in it, but we could not have enough bullet speed to blow up the Tannerite.
know what you think. Bigger is always better, but this was a fun gun. 700 feet per second, it did more damage than I thought it would have done. So we're kind of impressed, and it's just like I say, something fun to play around with. So thanks for tuning in. This is Thunder. As always, love you all. Remember, hit that subscribe button, share, like. It helps us out a lot. Appreciate you all. Thank <laughs> you.